Hi, this is Karanda with Metal Toad Media, and today I'm going to talk about one of the advanced features of views called contextual filters. So I have a sandbox set up here, and I have a bunch of animals. So I've created a content type called animals, and I've added a few fields, including a photo and a term reference called species. So what I've done is set up a taxonomy called species that uh, lists whether it's uh, cat species or dog species. And now I'm referencing that list of terms in this field. And the other field that I've added is the name field. So what I want to do is right now I have a view created that shows all the animals on this page. I'd like to filter this down to just the kittens or just the puppies and additionally uh, we can do that with regular filters additionally I want to be able to put the animal name into the URL so for instance I want to say just show me Coco and have just the animal named Coco show up so let's get to it so here's our view and we are let's change this title so we're going to just do kittens, and I've given it a page URL of kittens, and here's the format displaying it as a grid, and we're pulling in the title and the photo, and now so let's add a filter so that we just display the kittens. And so we're going to say has taxonomy term and we're going to use the species list and we'll have a drop down list and we're just going to say we want the Felis caddis species all right so now if we look in our preview here you'll see we have cats in every picture awesome so let's save that And if we go back and just go to kittens page. All right. So now I want to add a contextual filter so that uh, we could see just pictures of Xander here. He's pretty charismatic. Okay, so we're going to go over to contextual filters. Going to click add and we're going to filter on the name field. So we add that. And now you want to say what to do when the value is not in the URL. So I'm just going to leave this at if the value is not there, display everything and we'll get all the animals or all the kittens. And now down here you can say when the value is in the URL, you've got a few options here. So let's go ahead and override the title uh, and we'll override the title and use the name. So see here you can say override the view and other argument titles. Arguments is the same as contextual filter by using percent. Um, so it's going to be the first argument and we're just going to say percent one. So now in place of the kitten's title we should get the specific name of the animal. So we'll apply that and go ahead and save. And if you want to test it out, you can add your filter here and see what happens. So I'll go ahead and add a name and hit update. And now we just get Willow. Great. So now we can go try it on the page. So we want to see kittens slash Xander. All right. So there's all our images of Xander. Now, I just have a name field that takes one name. So if you wanted to make this a little fancier, you could make, say, a taxonomy list of names, and then you could add a, a taxonomy reference field so that you could say more than one name. For instance, Xander and Oz are both in this photo. So I could have a term reference, just like I do for species, and then I could pull up uh, 
either one of these names instead of one or the other. So, but that's a basic uh, idea of how to use contextual filters. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.